Hey, what's up, ladies and gents? It is a beautiful day to bill search. We're kicking off, uh, finally, another consecutive day of pocket money searching for things worth value. I kind of missed a few days throughout the last couple of weeks. I've just been busy with good old life. But let's get right to it with a series 2013 $20 bill. The last video yesterday, I made a faux pas, which was to not have gloves on when I'm going through the currency. And as you know, no glove, no love. So here we are looking through some more money, see if we find anything collectible. This is sitting a little bit low, this seal here. As you can see, it's kind of sitting askew from where it should, but it's still in the bounds of where it should be. It is, as you can tell, comparatively to our United States Federal Reserve seal over on the left here. A little bit off, but nothing crazy. Good clear picture of Jackson there. Series 2013, nothing really changed between it, uh, the 2006 7 bills, uh, all the way to current, uh, as far as graphically speaking. Of course, the redesign of the $20 bill, they did some stuff anti counterfeiting wise, but that was about it. They enhanced the graphics a little bit too, but no changes in the actual graphics. There was a whole semi turmoil going on uh, amongst currency collectors and people of the like, and then people that had nothing to do with it. Uh, about them putting Harriet Tubman or another figure on the bill and exchanging Jackson out for uh, somebody that is either female or just another figure. But moving on. One dollar bill, series 2013, pretty beat up. Interesting serial number. It's almost a trinary note if this nine would have been a uh, six, but interesting that they're all, one goes into three, three goes into six. Uh, they're all divisible by the numbers that are found in the serial number, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but nothing collectible there. It's close to one that you could flip and read it uh, right side up or uh, upside down, but hey. Looking at the back of the bill, which I'll actually grab that 20 in a second, since I didn't really look at the back of the bill. Nothing really crazy on that. We'll just take another gander at the reverse of that 20 from a second ago. Got a little bit of a press through the security strip here. This security strip, when you hold it up to light, you'll see it. It says US on it. Nothing there. All right. Pretty appropriately printed. Sometimes you'll see a little bit of issues around this lettering up here. One thing to not get confused by is the little bit of bleeding you notice between lettering of that black ink bleeding over into the white letters there off-white I suppose is that's just common I mean the ink it is ink they are printed like anything else that is printed in, in some facets so uh, that's gonna be a common thing you'll come across and is not an error nothing on the reverse there keep on keeping on I got all sorts of crap all over the money nothing the serial number here all 2013 so far I love the newer fives newer as in they're like 10 years old now. <laughs> uh, they'll probably redesign them throughout the 2020s. That's what they're talking about uh, for a couple of the different denominations of U.S. Federal Reserve notes. But so far, we haven't heard anything super uh, descriptive on what they're going to change, if anything. Over ink on that three there, but common. I kept one uh, yesterday or... Uh, one of the previous bill search videos that's pretty recent. I don't normally keep 2013 uh, over inks on the third digit since they are crazy common, but the one I kept on to was similar to one a few months back that we held on to uh, that was just so over inked I thought I would keep it in the old collection. For a second I thought we had a lack of ink here, or, uh, kind of a missing ink error, but just from the damage of the bill I would assume it's been wet from the wrinkling. It's one way to tell a bill's had some sort of liquid on it, and that's going to depreciate the uh, intensity of the color there, around, especially around these stars and the wreath here above uh, the front of the Great Seal, so nothing there. 2009, so the oldest one so far, not really too old, nothing different in one since 1957 uh, when they added, when we get to the reverse since nothing's hopping out there, In God We Trust to the bill. That was indoctrinated in 56 as the official motto of the U.S., so they added that to uh, to their banknotes. 
Nothing jumping out at me. Another kind of ink issue here, but not an error, just from damage. Okay, a little quasi double date bill. That's cool. I mean, nothing majorly collectible. I do like the history behind money. I know that dates somewhat in the serial numbers don't constitute an error collectible bill every time. Uh, but I like to look at, in this case, 1340 in the year 728. Or if it's the actual, for instance, a date bill, uh, we'll utilize it as July 28, 1340, depending on how you write the date. Oddly enough, I personally like to hold on to date notes if it's written the other way around, either the month, date, or day, and then month, and then the year. Uh, but I was proven uh, to be a little too singular on that, because when they released the 2017 date notes via the BEP's website, they had it as 2017 and then the date. So, you know, you let me know what you think about that in the comments, what kind of date notes you hold on to. But we'll hold on to this one for July 28th, 1340, or the year 1340 and the year 728. Um, and I'll put stuff in the description box of anything stellar that happened during those dates. So, a minor fine, but cool. I'll hold on to it. Still, still chugging light right along. Nothing jumping out. 2013 bill. The previous one was also a 2013. Got a lot of smudgel down here. A lot of damage throughout here. Creases and stuff like that, don't get those confused with actual fold-over errors. Those are very, a little bit easier to determine because it'll be a fold like so. Don't kill me for folding up the bill. I know I bitch about that when people are destroying stuff, but anyway. Fold-over error, for example, would still have this corner here. It would just be white where the bill got folded uh, post, or I'm sorry, not post, but during production of the bill. So that would be an example of that. It'd be stellar to come across something like that. That would be worth quite a bit of money, uh, but not, not the case as of yet. Destroyed $1 bill a little bit. We found a super end-of-life bill, so if you're wondering my title for the video yesterday, EOL banknote, end-of-life banknote, it was just a prime example of when a dollar bill is end-of-life. So, hey, it is what it is. Bills only have but so much time period to them, ones being the lowest amount of time to them. Nothing crazy as far as serial numbers so far. No crazy misprints, no misaligned prints. I know some of you are like, eh, you talk a lot during the video. I mean, I wish I could contour all my videos to fit every single person that watches them. However, the majority of people that are on here, this is this is a learning channel. I learn from you guys, you learn from me, so can't really learn much if I'm just like silently holding the bill. I do mess with the bills a lot, but then again, I got fidgety fingers, so sorry. But you know, I guess put it on mute or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. you. Hate my voice or whatever it is, but you know, hey. I'm just glad you guys come and watch them. I make the videos just because I enjoy collecting money. I used to just do this every day uh, without making a video. But I was like, hey, you know, I come across some pretty cool stuff. I come across some good repeaters and valuable notes. Therefore, I want to share it with you wonderful folks out there. Okay, what's going on with this guy? Uh, at first, I thought this was going to be an ink issue. All this kind of stuff happening all around it. But then when I started to notice, it's right along the folds. So, for instance, this was just... Somebody does not know how to even fold. But it was folded like such, and then it just got rubbed against on this edge that created um, that discoloration there. So just to show you what that's from. The reverse of the note, back of the great seal. Sometimes you get some issues around the Roman numerals down here for 1776, um, and the steps just because the detail is so fine on the back. However, not in this one. 2013 bill. No change in the 2013 to 2017 bills except for the signature of Stephen Muchin, who is the Secretary of Treasury. There's some flack going about him. Watch my other video. Nothing against him personally, but in the good old currency world, there is some flack kind of dropping on his head. I will have a coin news video that covers that. But nothing in this serial number. This is probably the better of looking 2013 ones we've come across. Getting down there. 
little bit shifted to the left here, but not enough to hold on to. Good spacing on the uh, margins of the bill here. Printed really nicely. This one's probably cleaner than the ones we've seen so far as I throw money everywhere. $5 bill, seen its day, getting towards the end of its life. I know you can't feel it through the video. We haven't gotten to that technology yet. But hopefully soon we'll have like Jetsons type technology and I can be like, hey, feel, feel the consistency of this bill. But it's very, uh, it's very thinned out. You can tell it's gotten folded and folded and folded and then wet at some point. You can tell from the wrinkling um, through here. So that's one way to determine that it's not like a paper issue or something like that. It's simply damage. Same thing here. Let me go back to this for a second, not to beat heads about it, but I do have people asking me about, oh, well, this is an, o is this an over ink? Is it an over pressing? So on and so forth. And they're referring to this serial number uh, here, how you can see it through here. But like I had just mentioned, when a bill gets uh, thinned out like this, I use that ter term or those terms loosely just for lack of a better term, but when the value of the bill or quality of the paper is depreciated simply due to use and folding and getting wet and stuff like that, it's going to cause issues where you can see the printing on the front of the bill a little easier. So, you know, when coinciding with damage like this, it is not a collectible error. One dollar bill series 2013. Yes, my coffee is done. Shout out to all the coffee lovers out there. You need to get down on Cafe Bustello, unless you have a thing against espresso-based coffee, but it is the bee's knees, and it gets me perked right up to do these videos for you. Nothing on the back here. I think we just got a couple, maybe a 20 or something behind down here, so. Another example of uh, what could be a date note, you'd be looking for 0906, like 1985 would have been a birthday note, for example. Uh, somebody that's alive right now was definitely could definitely be born in 85 so that'd be an example of a birthday note this is not one but for you newcomers that don't know anything to look for that's another thing you can look for there's that patented over ink on the third digit over here not repeated down here that one I kept the other day in our other bill searching video had it repeated throughout both serial numbers and the third digit was actually what I like to call an odometer bill, albeit I usually refer to that when it's on the end here. Uh, but it was sitting a little high, so it was kind of a double error going on. And that's the only reason I kept that 2013 over-inked bill. Nothing there. Lastly, we got ourselves a $20 bill. 2013, we touched on a little bit earlier when I with the first 20 uh, things about the 2013 bill, so I won't kill you with that. Nothing in the serial number. Nice and nice print though. Nice clean bill overall. A little bit of damage, but nothing crazy. Back of the bill. Nothing up here. Sometimes you'll see issues with the print of the uh, repeated 20s here, which form a constellation up in this corner that's part of an anti counterfeit video. Ugh. I learned words today. Hooked on phonics. Anti-counterfeiting measure. <laughs> That's up here. That's called Urion. It is a constellation of sorts made up uh, of these numbers. So sometimes you'll get issues there. Sometimes you'll get little bleeds of ink, such as this guy down here. As I point that out, there's one. But those aren't really dramatic enough to be called an over ink, an ink error, or misprint. So hey, I wouldn't say it's collectible or worth more than face value of 20 doll hairs. So we'll just leave that be and flick them aside. The thing we will hold on to is a minor day bill. It's beat up, it's ripped up, it's not in the best of condition, but I do love history and I do love the history of money. And so we're presented with a pseudo date note. I will put in the description box anything that happened on those dates or the specific date, July 28th, 1340. If you're interested in that, check out that information in the description box. Otherwise, this has come to an end, a sweet, sweet adventure of looking through bills in our pocket money, looking for things worth value in error notes. Let me know what you found in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you have a stellar weekend. Happy Saturday, and I will see you later.